Hello, it's me, Leslie Bray Brewer, down here at the well this time. Sometimes I've been moving around lately. I've been at home doing some of the videos in this 50 day video series called Watch Walnut Cove again because I did 50 days worth of Watch Walnut Cove last spring. Go back and watch those, some fascinating stories about the history of Walnut Cove and why we're asking you to watch Walnut Cove because we believe what God is doing here in this little bitty southern town population 1400 can be a model for the whole world. Now, um, I'm sitting in the prayer garden. The well is yonder way. To my left is the old Dodson Hotel property that I've talked about before that we bought, our church bought, God just blessed us with it. And I'm here in what is going to be the prayer garden. It is already the prayer garden. In fact, you can see what some things we've done here. I may have talked about this before. We've got a, like a little garden flag. There are solar lights in the trees. There are these uh, little solar powered lilies that light up at night and change colors. There is a solar powered uh, fountain that we've not figured out how to hook up yet, but it's gonna work. And then the latest thing, come around here, Abigail. The latest thing is this that we ordered, which simply tells you, you are at the prayer garden. Now, as we talk about this, come on back over, it's been a long day, I'm gonna sit here. As we talk about this prayer garden and the gateway property here, my friend Caroline Rutledge Armijo, she is the head of the Lilies Project. You've heard me talk about her before. You'll hear me talk about her again. Her dad, Jerry Rutledge, is a well-known lawyer in this town. His office used to be right across the street from the property that we bought. But Caroline won a big grant for the Lilies Project, and she named the project after the movie that had Sidney Poitier. I hope I said that right. I don't speak French or Poitier. He, um was in the movie called Lilies of the Field. I'm trying to think what year that was. I think it was nominated for the Academy Award maybe 62 or 63. I think he actually won the Academy Award for that. But uh, with that movie, Lilies of the Field, it's based on the scripture, you know, that says, you know, consider the lilies. You know, they don't toil, they don't spin, they don't do anything, but God provides for them. He's made them beautiful, and they don't have to work and labor to make themselves beautiful or get food to eat. God worked it all out. So Jesus in that scripture was telling us, you know, don't worry. Consider the lilies of the field. Well, Caroline based her project on that, and for some reason, I don't say for some, let me back up, let me back up. Not for some reason, for that reason, it's a very peaceful project. Everything I go to that she plans with the Lilies Project, there's such a peaceful feel to it. She's exploring the history of the town of Wanna Cove and pulling it together to take it into the future with transformation and beauty from God. So she was telling me just today that, and this is supposed to be, by the way, May 14th, day 24 of Watch Wanna Cove. Again, it's supposed to be May 14th, but I'm behind, so I'm actually making this two days late, but we're still calling it day 24. But um, Caroline, I just saw her today, and she was reminding me that she's going to have like an, like an art, I'm trying to think of the word, corridor. Like a corridor with the grant that she's won. If I'm not mistaken, it's $350,000 she won. I could be wrong. But she's gonna have a corridor that people can walk in the town and see different things that her project has done. Whether it be making st uh, art things out of cult lash that's been repurposed into nice beautiful sculpture type things or it could be the murals that are going to be painted on the sides of the buildings in town or it could be the beautiful flower wildflower and beautiful park that she's making behind the library but she reminded me today that that corridor is going to start up in the london community if you know Walnut cove you know where i'm talking about the london community at rising star baptist church pastor greg hairston up there She's gonna start the corridor for her artwork there. Well, when people get down to the library, that's gonna be close to halfway through her corridor, and you stop there at the beautiful park. And she asked us, this touches me, she asked us here at the well to let our prayer garden be the final leg of the journey of the art corridor for the Lilies Project. So it's just perfect. People would start up at Rising Star Baptist, they're our good friends, they would end on their journey Ooh, I felt the Holy Ghost they would end their journey here at the peaceful prayer garden and 
before she ever decided all of this, and she first chose the name of the Lilies Project, she said, Leslie, have you seen that movie? I said, no, you know, I've heard of it all my life. I've never seen it, don't know what it's about. She said, it's based on the scripture. You've got to watch it. She said, uh, she said when, I, when I watch that movie and think about it, I think about you all down at the well, the Lilies of the Field. I won't give you a spoiler. Well, this is your spoiler alert. I won't try not to spoil it too much. In the movie, you've basically got some church people who don't have any money the way we were here at the well. They don't have money, but they know God wants them to build a chapel for the people, for the, for the poor people in their area to come worship. And so God works it out. You have to watch the movie to see how he does it, but he sends Sidney Poitier to this group of white, German-speaking Catholic nuns. He sends a black man back in the early 60s, think about it, to them, and God uses him, hallelujah, to help bless them. And those that main nun, the mother or whatever her name was, she has faith that God's going to do it. We don't have money, but God, there came my necklace, but God is going to do it. Well, Caroline kept telling me, watch that movie, because that's what's happening here with you all when we told her we wanted to buy this land. This was before we ever had the land. She said, God's going to do it. And she was the first person to donate to the fund for us to buy this land. We didn't sell anything. We just put the word out. Hey, if you want to give online to our church, you can. It'll go to this. Uh, or you can send a check, whatever. She donated on PayPal. She was the first. I think that's very meaningful. I think that's very special. You say, what does all this have to do with a move of God in Walnut Cove? Because the beautiful things God is doing bringing a $350,000 grant to this little town. I'm sure we've gotten grants through the town hall before to do something in the town, fix the something, fix the roads, the water system. I don't know what they've gotten. This is the first really big grant that I know of, of this magnitude that has been given to this town to do beautiful things for transformation. That's what God's all about, bringing the kingdom of heaven down to earth, the Garden of Eden all over again. Even if it's a fallen world, Jesus came to redeem it and take us back to the state of mankind before the fall. Oh, hallelujah. So I think that the Lilies Project and all this stuff I've just been talking about from the movie Lilies of the Field and how it ties in not only to her project, but to how God made a way for us to buy this land and to how me, I'll play that, that mother, whatever her name was, nun in that movie who kept saying, God's going to do it. He will do it. He's gonna do it. I don't know how we're gonna build this health and wellness community center for the town, because it's gonna cost a lot, a lot of money. But he's gonna do it, just like he did in that movie. So keep watching Walnut Cove. Thank you so much for watching us, and I ask you to pray for us that we continue to yield ourselves to hear God's voice to tell us what to do. And wherever you are, I pray for you for a great revival in your town and your big city for a move of God wherever you are, because if every little town and big city all over the globe believes like I'm talking about for the move of God in their town, then it's gonna happen all over the globe. Points of light all over the globe. I give God the praise and the glory. I love you. I'll see you next time.